Hello! Today I am playing the Star Crusade, which is a new collectible card game that's on early access right now in Steam. I have 25 booster packs, so I thought we'd do a little opening here and, and see what we got, and let's get crack a lacking. Ooh, that's a slick animation they got there. Let's see what we got. Infestation! Shanti, all right, and of course these all have different rarities. You can see this one's a conscript, uh, conscript rarity. That almost looks like an E. Conscript, conscript rarity. All right, let's see what else we got here. Mineral freighter. This one's an elite. Excelente. What else have we got? Another elite. Syndicate enforcers. One seems all right. Wolves at the gate. Target friendly units gain cloak. All right, cloak's a good thing for sure. Oh my God, what is this? Heroic, not quite Paragon, but that was that was pretty amazing there. Activate, disable, target enemy, non-passive module. That actually seems really good. Oh my God, and we got a heroic. Oh, another heroic. I thought that was the next one. Paragon. I can't wait to see what the Paragon one does. Activate, deal one damage to all enemy characters. Not bad for five and a four four. All right, let's grab all of those. Open the second one here. What do we got? Deal three damage to all units. That's really good, actually. Deploy random, bodyguard, con uh, contract. That one's all right. Let's see what else we have. Exposed flanks. Make some loose screen. All right, conspirator. Deal three damage per active cipher. Ooh, that's actually not bad at all. If you can get a lot of ciphers, that could do a lot of damage. All right, Oculus, draw cards equal to your firepower. Not bad, not bad. And Psychic Rot, destroy a unit with attack less than or equal to Psychic Charge. All right, not so bad so far. Really hoping we get one of those Paragon ones, but I don't know. Oh, you get credits for opening packs as well. It's awesome. Bloodsworn Berserkers. When friendly units take damage, deal one damage to random enemy character. That's actually really cool. I like that. I like that a lot. Plus, it's only two. It only costs it two. Gain one energy at the end of your turn. Ah, that one's all right. Activate. Add psychic charge to attack and HP. All right. What else do we have here? Whenever target unit has not attacked by the end of the turn, draw a card. By the way, there's uh, there's where they well, which deck you can use it with here at the bottom in case you didn't notice. So this one's a neutral, so it can be used with all different ones. Plus one firepower, four four, and a four. It's not too bad. Attache! Attache! She looks like she's pointing off in the distance. Like, attack there! Activate. Give friendly unit plus one attack. All right. Not bad, not bad. Let's see what you got for us. Pack number four. Conclave Stalker for the Shantier. Shantier. Chianti, if it's a, a wine. All right. It's got aberration as well. Mutate, gain three energy. Telekinesis, when your unit is attacked, redirect attack to a random enemy. Oh, that is really awesome. That is really cool. I like that one a lot. Um, deploy a copy of friendly units. All right, awesome. We yeah, have actually deploy a random unit that costs one supply. Not bad, not bad. Nullify target unit before attack, and it's a 2-4 for a three cost. Not bad. Oh, we got two of those. Now, when you get multiples, you can actually kind of like melt them down and get other cards as well. Maybe I'll show you that here in a future episode. Got another one of those. Nanite Regenerators for the Hierarchy. Target Energy Gains Revenge. Gains Revenge. Oh, that's a zero cost. That's not bad. Give a friendly unit revenge. Lots of revenge here. Must be the Hierarchy's main thing. Gain two copies of this card. All right. Oh, what is that? Oh, another heroic. Excellent. Sensor network. Cost of two. It's a zero three. You get a credit. At the beginning of your turn, swap this unit with a random one from your hand. That's really not bad for a for a two. All right. Dormant pathogen for the shanty. I'm probably mispronouncing that wrong, by the way. I, or mispronouncing it right? I don't know. Whatever. Target unit gains mutate. Deals two damage to the unit's owner. And Forge Lord. Activate next cyborg unit. Deploy costs two less. That's not bad at all. Costs three less if you energize six. Not bad. Not bad. Plus, he looked pretty badass, if you ask me. All right, let's keep on trucking. What do we got? 
Illusionary Force, we saw that already. Advanced Fabrication. All cyborg units deployed this turn cost two supply less. Oathkeeper. Activate gain plus one attack for every support. Not bad if you're support heavy. Plus one firepower. We've already looked at that guy. This guy looks like he's never, ever held a gun in his life. Look, he's like looking this direction and pointing at that direction. That's not very safe, Mr. Syndicate Security. Uh, if you have a mercenary unit on board, gain plus one attack. But he's not too bad, especially for a one. All right. And Vraxian Frigate. Arc attack. And a 3-5. And a 3-5. Not too bad. Not too bad. What else we got here? All right. AI core for the hierarchy. A lot of hierarchy cards. Draw a card every time you deploy a cyborg unit. What else do we have? Gain one energy at the end of your turn. We already saw that one. Conclave Stalker. Mutate. Gain three energy for the Shanti. All right. Liquify. Destroy a unit with mutate and gain two revitalizing serum cards. All right. So the Shanti, they, they mutilate all of their people. And we've already seen this one. Um, so they do more damage. And you can mutilate your own guy and do damage to the other person. It's, it's, it's actually quite fun to play. Um, but it's risk because you take your own damage to do more damage. So there's a risk involved as well. Pirate Cruiser Screen. If you have more energy than your opponent, gain plus one, plus one, making a five, six. Not bad. Not bad, Pirate Cruiser. All right, what else we got here? We have Wolves at the Gate. We already saw that one. Phase Bubble. When your commander takes fatal damage, restore eight HP. That's actually really cool. So we haven't really gotten into the tactics, but those are kind of like uh, spell cards from, or sorcery cards from Magic the Gathering. Uh, credit to Mercenary Consortium. All right, we haven't gotten a lot of consortium cards, so that's kind of nice. Espionage, whenever target unit has not attacked by the end of the turn, draw a card. So you're forcing them to either attack or you get cards. That's interesting. That was very shiny. Syndicate Collector, whenever you play a card with credit, gain plus one attack. Revenge, deal attack damage to your commander. To your commander? What? I'll have to look that up here later. That seems backwards. Draw a card when any tactic card is played. That would be really nice if you're a tactic, he uh, tactic heavy deck. I can talk, I promise. All right. What else we have? Planetary defense system. At the beginning of your turn, deal damage equal to firepower to a random enemy character. Not bad. Transform a friendly unit into a 4-3 unstable monstrosity. This one would be really good if you have like a 1-1 one, one or something. So... Activate gain attack equal to your weapons attack. All right. All right Infected militia mutilate destroy infected militia and deploy two zero three brood eggs And then those brood eggs you can uh, you can mutate later if you want So that's how you would use that shield soak one soak one means that it takes off one damage So if you're gonna damage me for three, I only take two damage. I still die, but either way That's what soak one does all right, adjacent unit deals attack damage to a selected unit. All right, cool. All right, we are 10 packs down, 15 to go. Let's see what we got here. Already seen that one. Expeditionary heavy squad impact adjacent units gain soak one. That's cool because the ones next to it gain soak. All right, that seems useful. X15 troop carrier deploy random unit that costs one supply for free. Psychic Rot, we've already seen as well. Broodmother. Oh, that's a pretty cool looking card. Mutate, deploy a plus or one one sp uh, spawnling. That was a hard word. That was a hard word. Biomonger. For every unit, enemy unit destroyed, restore three. That's really good. That's really good, especially if they're one of the ones that, like the, the Terran that deploys a lot of like one ones and zero ones and stuff. That would be amazing. That would be amazing. All right, let's 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 keep going here. What else we got? Scent of Blood. It's like a shark. Deal one damage to a unit adjacent units gain swarm. All right. Activate, restore three HP. That's really nice. Uh, impact adjacent uh, units gain plus one firepower. And that's a six with a five, five. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. See, here's a six with a four, five. We've already seen that one. Uh, two cost. Uh, we already saw that one. Getting a lot of doubles here, but this one's not. Derelict Battleship Pacifist, and it's a 7-4. All 
I don't know what pacifist does. Does that mean it can't attack? Because that would be a little bit weird. Although it's only a three and you get seven attacks. I could definitely see that. All right, let's keep going here. What else do you have for me game? War footing, all units with three or less supply cost. Deploy this turn, game mobility. That's nice, because that means I can attack right away. Lower HP of all enemy units by one. That could really wipe out a board if they have a lot of one ones and stuff. Oh, very shiny card, Slicer. Wasn't that a character from Bioshock? Activate all units with soak, lose soak, and take one damage. Oh, that'd be great if, if you don't have a lot on your team, first of all, if they have a lot. Very situational there. Frenzy, all right, giving it plus two, plus four, and it gains one damage at the end of every turn. Very good uh, short term, bad long term on that one. All right, at the beginning of your turn, we already saw that one. What else we got? We already have that one as well. Lots of doubles, but you know what? That's all right. That's all right. Let's keep going here. Disrupt communication. Cypher. When enemy plays tactic, shuffle it into his deck. All right. Not bad. Not bad. Deal one damage to a unit and give it a shield. All right. At the end of your turn, deal three damage per active Cypher to the enemy commander. We, oh, we already saw that one. That's right. Unsale transformation we already saw as well. Liquify we've seen. And we've seen the frigate as well. All right, come on, give me, give me one of those fancy, uh, fancy top tier cards, the Paragon ones. That's what I'm looking for. But two random side where I think we've seen, yeah, we've seen that one. All right, cool. What else we got? Activate, restore three HP. We've seen that one. Avatar of Exablabla. That's a six four three. Add psychic charge to attack and HP. All right. Mm, infestation. Have we seen this one yet? Yet? Maybe. Give the unit revenge to play two under your opponent's control. I don't know why that one would be useful. I'll have to look at it later. Other friendly support units have plus two attack. That's really nice if you have a lot of supports. Uh, that could be devastating. All right, it's only a five, too. And we've already seen that one. All right, 11 more. Here we go. Give me something good. Mutagenic Bomb. When your commander is attacked, mutate all units. That could be really good, I suppose. Advanced Fabrication we've already seen. We've already seen the guy pointing the gun in the wrong direction. Nyx Hound. Mutate. Game plus one plus two. Making it a 3-3. Three, three. Not bad for a two. Actually, it would be a five because Mutate usually takes two, I believe. Unless you get it from a card. Plus one firepower. We've already seen lightning guard. And shield array. All right, guys. Ten more. Here we go. Uh, void probe. Neutral. Activate. Nullify a unit. Not bad. Not bad. All right. What else we got here? Harbinger of doom. Deal one damage to all enemy units when your psychic charge is increased. Oh, that's cool. Especially when you get that out early and keep it alive because it's only got one health. And then you can use a lot of psychic stuff. Activate. Gain friendly unit. Oh, we've already seen that one. Rippers. Gain one attack at the end of each turn. That reminds me of that 80s movie with the, the worms that were underground. What was that called? I don't remember. That's what it reminds me of, though. Disrupt communications. And Sentinel Droids. Fury, which is great. And gain assault. All right. Come on. Give me something good to eat. Just like Halloween. Phase Bubble we've seen. Broodmother we have seen. Guided Meteorites. How do you guide? Oh, I guess you put engines on them. Split four damage between enemy characters. All right. Seen you already. Mark of Devotion for the Anunnaki, however you pronounce that. Disable target friendly unit, potentially able to attack this turn. Gain amount of energy equal to the unit's cost and draw a card. Not bad at all, especially for a one. I like that one, I like that one. Band of Brothers, not just a movie, also a heroic card. Your guardsmen have zero attack and gain plus one attack for each of the other guardsmen on board. All right. Let's see what else. That was that wasn't a car. That was one of the things. I forgot to mention that. Some of these are the things. Um, cloak. Uh, that one's kind of good. Restore up to two HP. Eh, can't attack, but it's not bad. It's cloaked, so they can't attack it anyway. Destroy a friendly unit and gain three supply. All right. 
Adjacent unit gain plus one firepower. We've seen that one already. Seen that one already. Seen that one already. And that one as well. All right, we're going to have plenty of doubles here for us to uh, to liquefy and use. Credits, two, and it's a four, five. Not bad for a three cost. We've seen that one as well. Avalanche Bombard. Activate, deploy a 3-3 three, three technician. It's an eight cost, which is pretty high, but it's also a 6-6. Six, six. So, arc attack. All right. Pulse Barrage. Deal one damage to all enemy characters. If you have three or more units, deal two instead. So, two damage to every unit for the Terrans. And the Terrans, they get, they, they get characters all the time. That's really good. Too bad it's a four cost. That's a little bit high. Ignore armor. Really good there. If, if an enemy has armor, that means they only take one damage. This one, you get to ignore it. So that one's that one's a good one to have. Definitely six more packs to go. We have Eridani Battalion, credit two, four, five. Oh, we've already seen that one like four times already. Telekinesis, Cypher, when your unit is attacked, redirects. we already seen that one. Broodmother, we have already. Exigent Circumstances, we have seen. Frenzy we have seen and to the end all friendly units gain screen that is really good actually It's only a cost of one. I like that one a lot. I'm probably gonna use that one. All right For those of you who don't know screen means that you can't attack that unit until they have attacked at least once uh, Vraxian Scourger neutral Activate gain attack equal to firepower really great if you have a lot of firepower. All right, perfect Cypher, return deployed units to the player's deck for the consortium. Gain one energy, we've already seen that one. We've seen that one. Espionage, we've seen. And drop pods. Whenever a friendly unit attacks, shuffle a 1 2 1 marine into your deck. Activate, draw a card. All right, that was another one of the, the powers as well, which we'll get into a little bit later here. So, uh, Council Patrol, activate, nullify random friendly unit and enemy unit. Oh, that's that's kind of risky. It's kind of risky. Maybe if you only have a 1-1, one, one, I don't know. That's a little bit risky for my taste, but Deadeye, Nullify, okay, we've seen that one. Prophetic Vision, draw two cards. If you have five or more psychic charges, draw, draw four. Not bad, not bad. Iron Grip, Cypher. When opponent attacks your unit with a weapon, take control of the weapon. Huh. I think that, that seems like that'd be very situational. But not bad, not bad at all. Two more here, let's hope we get something good. We want a Paragon. Shadow Operative. He looks kind of weird, I don't know. Cloak, lower your cost of all your mercenary cards by one. Not bad at all. All right, Scent of Blood, we have seen. Guided Meteorites, we have seen. Syndicate Security, we have seen. Forward Base, that's a really cool looking plane there. Activate, gain, uh, give random unit uh, plus one firepower impact lower cost of one unit played for, for fire. Oh, that one's not bad. I wish it did a little bit more damage, but the, the activatable is definitely worth it. All right, guys. I believe we only have one left. So everybody rub your lucky la uh, rabbit's foot, rabbit's roots, rabbit's foots, uh, or Buddha or whatever you do. Cross your fingers. Here we go. Uh, signal Ops, that's a cool gun. Activate Disable Target Unit, that's really nice. What else do we have? Expedition Area Heavy Squad. We've seen that one already. Rippers, we have seen. Deadeye, we have seen. Derelict Battleship, we have seen as well. All right, guys, last card. Hopefully it goes well, here we go. Battle Tank, we have seen as well. Is that it? No, we have one more. Oh, we have one more. Okay, I was I was wrong. All right, Battle Walker, we have seen. That one we have seen. Corrupt Transformation. Your commander gains plus one attack and critical until end of turn. All right. You need to attack with your commander. Oh, that's the Shanta. They're the ones that mutate their commander. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, we've seen that one. We've seen that one. And last one, Sentinel Droids. All right, guys, that is it. That is 25 boosters. We got quite a few good ones, quite a few doubles that we can melt down and get other cards if we wish. So either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Check this game out. I'll leave a link down below. And with that, I will see you all in the next episode.